Okay, with me I have Gary Warburton, the head teaching professional at Nudgee Golf Club in Brisbane, Queensland. And uh, Gary is going to help us through a putting lesson here. You'll notice there that when Gary putts, his head's very still, his body's pretty stable. And when he finishes the stroke, notice how low the putter head finishes through the shot. And it's almost a straight line, the club shaft in his left forearm. Now, that's kind of reminds me of that Rory McIlroy. Okay, that Irish guy that's just won the, the US PGA. He, he finishes very much like that through the he ball. He certainly does, and he putted very well. He does putt very well all, all round. So, how about uh, going through the uh, how he developed that stroke? Uh, thanks, Gary. So, we want our shaft and forearms in line, level with our elbows. Now, we're going to tilt over from our waist until our eyes become over the ball. So we have our eyes over the ball and we're lined up. Left foot can come in, right foot for balance. Now I notice that your stroke's very very smooth and, and got a good rhythm to it. It's not very fast. Yep. So how do you how do you control uh, that pace? So uh, grip pressure generally, nice grip pressure, soft as possible. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. And when and you take the club away, do you kind of are you pushing one hand against the other a little bit? Pushing my left hand against my right, my left uh, thumb joint against my right top of my right hand, pushing away up there in the wrist, eh? Up in the wrist area. Yep. So that kind of makes it uh, control you control the pace of your backswing. And what it also help to control the length of your backswing? Uh, yes, it does. Go back any length I want for whatever length putt that I would have. What I also notice there, Gary, is that the putter head stays very low to the ground in the backswing. Yeah, very big key to good putting. We don't want it coming off the ground too much. Low and slow, eh? Low and slow, gets the dough. Okay, now when you're coming down through the ball, what are you doing with those, those both those thumbs as you, as you move forward? And tell me how you make your downswing. I'm going to make my downswing towards the ball. My right arm's extending, pushing with my wrist, right wrist on my left hand. Pushing from thumbs. You're pushing from up here, aren't you? That's correct. Not from down here? No. no that's going to keep the putter nice and stable. Any pushing from the bottom is going to create a, a hinge that we don't want, or a flick, or a yip, right, which is not good for putting. It's going to create nice stability through the, through the putting stroke. Now the thumbs are pushing down towards the ground. Now, to make this stroke and hit a golf ball at the same time, is uh, would, would you just go straight to doing this, or do you think there's a good drill that you can Oh, we need to do a bit of a practice drill. Practice drills always help. Well, I'll hand you this a yardstick. Can I borrow the putter? Just show us that drill that you've been practicing to, to build that easy stroke. Well, what we can do is we can get the yardstick in your left hand, and a little bit of pressure up near the top of your wrist, push back, and we're going to push through, flatten our wrist, and also try and let the thumbs come down towards the ground. So we do it here. See that stick slightly bending, my wrist is forward, my thumbs are down. I see when you do it, basically training the left hand first, uh, it, it kind of gives you the thumbs down to approach, doesn't it? That's correct, it's going to be the control, left hand's the control, right hand helps. Okay, so once you've done it a few times, uh, you get the feeling of that as it looks like it's almost going towards automatic. Getting the putter in our hand, it feels a little bit easier. Excellent. Just show us that stroke, just a stroke. Okay, so now once you have that stroke, uh, putting from a metre to start with is a lot of pressure, isn't it? Well, there is. A lot of people miss it from a metre. So if we were going to build a really good consistent stroke, we, we don't want any pressure on us, do we? Uh, we'd start from about 10 or 20 centimetres. Okay, so you reckon you feel pretty confident from here? I think I can get it from there. Okay, so I think the ideal thing is once you have the stroke and the technique, you want to take the pressure off and start with little baby strokes. And not only do you build better technique, you learn to actually get the right touch. What you see here with Gary's, 
he's building the touch. So that's what he's getting here. Do around about 10 centimetre increments. So he's gone back to 20 centimetres now. So still the right technique, thumbs down, club head low to the ground at the finish, no recoil, you notice that? Move our way out, we're gradually working on it. As a beginner, if you just get one or two in at each distance, uh, before you know it, you've built some con control and some confidence all your way out to a metre or two. So Gary, with practicing putting, when you go on the golf course, do you, uh, do, should, should they be thinking a lot about this or should they be playing more by just the feel? More of the feel on the golf course. Do all your technical work on the putting green when you do your practice try and make it automatic on the golf course. Yeah, so the time to think is at home on the, on the carpet, isn't it? That's correct. And using the yardstick or... Yep. Um, Do your drills first, build it in so it's solid and consistent, and then you should be able to take that onto the golf course without too much pressure. Well, thanks, Gary. Look, what I'd love you to do now is just to show us that routine, how you get in over the ball as you yep. knock this last one in. This way you get really good posture, good balance, and a, and a good routine, good rhythm into your, into your putting stroke. And again, uh, well done. And Thanks, Peter. You're a great putter, Pleasure. Mate. Thank you.